Oh goodness. Happy April 17th. Oh God. By the time you see this, it's the 19th. Not that it matters because April 17th and April 19th are virtually identical. <laughs> Except one is a Friday and one is a Sunday. Other than that, pretty much the same kind of day. So I'm thinking about Bill Murray and Groundhog's Day, the movie. If you have not seen it, now would be a good time to watch it. And, and in the movie, he's doomed to repeat the same day over and over and over again, multiple times, until, until what? Until he learns what is his to learn. And then he can escape the cycle of repeating the same kind of days over and over again and move on with his life. And, and it's got me wondering if there isn't something here for each of us to learn individually and that when we do, we, were no, we will no longer be bound. We will no longer be constricted or restricted by time or space. Uh, we're so used to doing and at a pace far faster than we're moving these days. Um, somehow we managed to fill our lives up with doing, and now we're in a place where that doing is restricted. And we're being invited more into the realm of doing. Um, Thich Nhat Hanh says, somehow we managed to, nope, he didn't say that. What did he say? We think that when we're not doing anything, we're wasting our time, but it's not true. Our time is first of all for us to be, to be what, he asks, to be alive be peaceful, to be joyful, to be loving. And that is what the world needs most. And I think he's right. The way that we show up in the world is evolving and changing. Some of us are going backwards and not showing up well. And some of us are moving forwards and we're, we're considering how we've done from this point backwards and how we might show up in the world, how we might be in the world in a different way than we ever have before. But it's not easy. Uh, this kind of shift that we've experienced, perhaps the most profound shift uh, in our life experience in, in most of our lifetimes um, is stretching us. But now is when we need to hang in there. Now more than ever, we've been at this thing for a while now. And there's a little while to go yet, but, but hang in there. We haven't come this far to abandon ourselves. As spring approaches and the days get pretty, it, it's liable to challenge us to ask ourselves what's important every day. What's important? What's important? What's important? What's the most important? Thing for us to do? What's the most important way for me to show up in the world? And maybe the answer is to not show up. Maybe the answer is for me to stay home and do my work, whatever my work is, whatever the, the opportunity is for me to learn what is in this day for me to know so that I can move ahead in a different way perhaps than I ever have. I guess the message today is, is I know this is stretching all of us, but but hang in there now more than ever. And if you're feeling like you can't, then that's when we need to reach out. If we're learning nothing else in this time, it's how interconnected we are. Reach out to somebody who loves you and who, who you know can, can um, remind you of what you've forgotten. And if you can't get a hold of any of your people, call one of our people at the center. Call one of our um, licensed practitioners who is offering a free 30-minute prayer session during this time. I'm going to ask our technical wizards to make sure that that list gets posted um, during this um, during this time, um, our time together, um, and we'll get through it. Uh, and in the meantime, be kind and and be gentle with you. And remember, life is irrepressible. Watch. Go out and look at the buds on the trees. Life, life is irrepressible. Spring will come again, I promise. 
In the meantime, be gentle with yourself, be gentle with each other. Take care of yourself. Stay close, stay connected. Blessed be.